Hello again and welcome to the Outcast. And I'm pretty sure you guess can guess uh, what I'll be playing today. Uh, a few days ago, my girlfriend and I were actually talking on Skype and she found heard the music in the background and she's like, share screen so I can watch. So I figured, why not just make these videos so she can watch me play whenever she wants. So, here we go. Uh, Nothing real special here, but away we go. Let's see what we get. Ooh. Okay, so here we are right off the bat, and already next to a village. That's actually remarkably good. Uh, crops, livestock, pretty much everything we need is right here in this area. Uh, and it looks like... There are some giant mushrooms in this forest. Alright, well, let's get started. We need to get some wood first. started. Oh, duh. Gotta make sticks first. <laughs> So I've been thinking about what to do with this channel. I think I touched a little bit on it. Getting wood. Yeah. I think I touched a little bit on it in the other video. Uh, but I kind of wanted to go over it again. Yeah, those. There's definitely a couple of giant mushrooms here. That's awesome. Um, I like to have discussions and so I'm hoping that this channel will allow me to have those discussions And I mean on just about everything, pop culture, movies, books, uh, politics, although I try to avoid that one. I think this one's almost done. But um, anyway... As I was saying, the reason I'm doing it with games is because, well, I have found that games often lend themselves to those kinds of discussions. Not always, but a lot of times they do. Uh, take the Mass Effect series, for example. There's lots of material in there to, to discuss between morals and ethics, and what's right and wrong, and good and evil, and it's pretty well done, I think. And there. I think we've got enough wood for now. Some sticks. One thing I like to do, I'm not usually near a village. But one thing I like to do when I am. Let's see, how many do I need? I think that should be enough. Let's 
is I like to put my home in a rather unique spot. Well, it's probably not that unique. I'm probably not the only one that does it. Let's head over here. You eat all the carrots. Alright, where's the well? There's the well. There's that sign, there's that sign. I'm out of signs. <laughs> oh wow. Okay. I'm gonna get that water thing taken care of. There's a way to do it, I just gotta get those signs set up right, so I'll be right back. So one other thing I noticed uh, that I didn't see when we first spawned, but just came across it. There's a ravine here. <laughs> Ravines are awesome. Uh, make it really easy to get to resources that is if you can get down there. Um, but luckily, to get down there, uh, it's this one. Yep. That's it. And now we can get down there and back up. There's coal. There will be all kinds of resources further in. There's some iron. Gotta watch out for the lava, though. So, yeah. That's pretty useful. 
Okay, so I got that figured out. And I think it's after dark now, but... This is home sweet home. Well... It will be. It's not much yet, but we'll get there. Um, <laughs> kind of an amusing... Uh, Minecraft glitch here. I wonder if they'll ever fix this, but... The signs hold back the water, which is... You know, lets me open up this area. And it also gives me a way to get down, up and down, without hurting myself. So, that's pretty nice. But yeah, like I said, it's dark, and there's something shooting at me. So, I think I'm going to call it right there. And... Wait, wait, uh, for daybreak. Um, second day, I think I'm going to focus on expanding the crops. Um, getting the livestock that are in the area. What I've seen so far are cows, rabbits, and pigs. I have not seen chickens or sheep yet. So hopefully we'll find some of those. Um, I was watching another Minecraft video and I saw a pretty good chicken farm that I want to try to build. Of course, I got to do some mining for that. I got to do some mining soon too, but I want to have some food first. So, anyway, that's it. Have a good one.